This weekend's full pink moon in mysterious and beguiling Scorpio is almost here. And, while a lot of people tend to get anxious about the uncertainty of Sly Scorpio, the April 2018 full moon astrological predictions reveal that there's almost no reason to dread the full pink moon. There's always a catch. With the April full moon in Scorpio opposite the Sun in Taurus, it might seem like you're in for a Gilmore Girls relationship kerfuffle the likes of Scorpio-born Luke and Taurus-born Lorelai. However, according to the Moon Woman, when these two signs are at their best, they actually complement each other. This is the fertile polarity of water and earth, giving us the opportunity to soften and create if we can navigate a balanced path between our emotions and our values. Okay, now we know why Luke and Lorelia had so much trouble. They were unable to balance their values against their emotions. Phew, it's good to finally have that mystery solved after all of these years. As long as you avoid this particular pitfall, the April full moon in Scorpio should be a blessing rather than a curse for most signs. However, Sagittarius, Gemini, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Leo will have a harder time than other signs if they don't make conscious choices to address issues and nurture relationships. Some of you may witness how conflict over resources and money can tear families apart. The Moon Woman revealed on her website, the lesson is ultimately to resolve our emotional wounds or we risk destroying all we seek to create. Translation, if you don't address your emotions in a healthy manner, the April full moon could have you playing a starring role in a horror movie of your own making titled, My Own Worst Enemy. This is not the time to ignore your feelings unless you want them to come back to bite you. Unresolved issues may intensify as we approach full moon, bringing them to a head to be resolved. The key to ensuring inner calm is to be receptive to the illumination of the feminine within and without. The Moon Woman advised. Basically, this full moon is about all about bringing toxic emotions to the surface and releasing them. The full moon in Scorpio, should be less about stinging and more about working with deep-seated emotions which we know have gone toxic, Yasmin Boland wrote on Moonology. So, if you've been stuffing down some dark and twisty emotions, it's time to, carefully, take the lid off of Pandora's box think jealousy, rage, anger, envy, fear, paranoia and so on. Life serves up some dramas, and sometimes, we get triggered. If there is anything toxic festering away in you now, this is the time to release it. Write it out, forgive anyone involved with anything you have written down, and then burn it on the night of April 29th, she advised. Astrology.com noted that the full pink moon could mark a major turning point in your life, especially if you're ready to make a big change. A Scorpio full moon can be a time of transformation. A time of recharging our strongest resolves, tarot reader Sarah Faith Gottesdiener explained on astrology.com. What do you need, to be seen, appreciated? Do you need more hydration? More time? More space? Give that to yourself with your words, thoughts, actions. Water yourself in your dreams by allowing yourself to unfold. Write down what you need, and slip it under the candle. Promise to give yourself what you need over the coming weeks, seriously, if there were ever a time for a full moon cleansing ritual, this is it. Because the full moon takes place in dark and twisty Scorpio, it will be easier to bring emotions you've been suppressing since the January eclipse to the surface, which also makes it easier to let them go. Do the emotional clear out on the night before the full moon and you could feel incredibly lighter in the days afterward, Boland recommended. If you're ready to release everything that's weighing you down, here's how to clean your cosmic house. The full moon is the completion of a cycle, it symbolizes the end chapter. This is the time of the month that, rituals are done in releasing or purging the things in our lives that no longer serve us, Carol Lefevre wrote on her website Soul Alchemy Healing. Like Boland and Gottesdiener, Lefevre suggested writing down everything you want to release. Next, create a sacred space, and cleanse the area by burning some sage or lighting a stick of incense, and light a candle. Read the writing on each slip of paper one at a time. Set your intention to release the item, addiction, attitude from your life. Set it to fire and place it in the fire. If you are doing this ritual with a group of others take turns reading your words, Lefevre advised. If these things are too personal to read out loud read them silently to yourself. Remember words have power saying, be gone, audibly and loudly can be very freeing. When you're finished with your ritual, take a moment to express gratitude to the universe for supporting you. While the April full pink moon in Scorpio is going to be a super emotional roller coaster, that's actually a good thing if you're ready to surrender your burdens and start fresh on May 1st.